This is episode 6, chapter 22 of Too Hot to Handle, and things are getting spicy as we have some new arrivals in the island, or on the island, probably on the island. If you find yourself enjoying this video as it goes on, make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. But before we do that, let's get in to today's video. New people have arrived on the island, but do they bring fun or trouble? The excitement grows as the boat gets closer to shore. This is amazing. Newbies are just what we need. My perfect match is on that boat. I know it. You are not as excited as Jada, especially because Alex's eyes are locked on the boat. Relax, Amber. There's nothing to worry about. You and Alex are solid, but when the boat docks and the new people get off, you start to wonder if Alex should be the one to worry. Wait, we get four new people and all of them are in incredibly attractive. A beautiful woman steps forward first and waves to the group. This is Priya. Okay, I wonder if she's been on any other reality TV shows. She's a business owner from the UK, she's 25. All right, everyone, I'm Priya. Hope you don't mind that we're crashing your party. Everyone is so leng. Oh my God, I don't know why. I cannot stand the word leng. All I hear is leng everywhere. I, mm, not the biggest fan of the word Leng. She smiles, her eyes scanning the crowds. But when she gets to you, her stare lingers. And the interest you see there is unmistakable. How do I respond? I'm gonna be friendly. You smile back. Not at all. Welcome to paradise. Tell us about yourself, Priya. Yes, we want to know everything. Priya smiles confidently. I'm from the UK. I own my own business and I'm a total workaholic. But make no mistake, I'm here to have a good time. And I think I know exactly who I'll have a good time with. You feel her eyes on you again and you're shocked at her boldness. She's not even trying to hide she's into me. Alex notices too, but before anyone gets to react, a tall, very handsome man steps forward. What's that he's got in his hand? You watch as he walks up to Jada and holds something out. When she takes it, you see that it's a paper swan. Hi, I'm Carter. This is Carter. He, I don't know why I said it like that. He's 26 from Canada. He's a model and travel influencer. Hi, Carter. Hey, yo. What's up with the swan? Carter smiles. I made this on the boat. I told myself I'd give it to the most beautiful person here. And it looks like I found her immediately. Jada absolutely lights up. Wow, thank you, Carter. Maybe Jada will find her perfect guy after all. Meanwhile, Sarah eyes Carter. Wait a second. Have I seen you somewhere before? It's possible. I'm a model. Sarah all but rolls her eyes, but Alex smiles. Another model. Nice. Carter laughs. It's not really my passion, but it pays the bills and allows me to travel. I'm kind of a globe trotter. All my days, me too. Jada looks positively in love and you chuckle at the expression on her face. But then your attention is directed elsewhere because you notice a stunning woman going up to Alex. Okay, I recognize that look. It's the same way I looked at Alex the first time we met. What should I do? I'm gonna stay cool. Cool as a cucumber. Relax, Amber. Let's see how things play out. You watch as the woman smiles at Alex. Oh, look at that hair, that outfit. Is she into women? I'm Candace. This is Candace. She is 21 from the USA and she's a college student slash part-timer. And who are you? Should I give her an American accent? I'm kind of tempted. I can't do them very well. I'm Alex. Welcome to the island, Candice. And what a warm welcome it is. She's totally checking Alex out. You put on a smile and get her attention. So what do you do, Candice? Tell us about yourself. She shrugs. I'm in college, so I'm pretty much just partying right now. But I'm a spontaneous girl, always down for whatever. I bet she is. I know who she's down for whatever with. She hasn't taken her eyes off Alex once. You suddenly feel a presence at your side. So you turn and spot the fourth newcomer. It's a handsome man with discerning eyes and when you catch his gaze, he leans in and whispers something in your ear. I am Diego. This is Diego, who literally took my breath away. He's 27 from the USA. He's an artist and sculptor. And Carter obviously didn't look properly because you are by far the most gorgeous person on this island. I'm an artist, so I have an eye for discerning beauty like yours. Wow, he's coming on strong. How should I respond to Diego's compliment? I'll be flirty. A little bit flirty. Oh, an artist. Does that mean you're good with your hands? Amber. His eyes flash with heat. Bingo, baby. A sculptor has to be good with his hands in more ways than one. The way he looks at you makes you wonder if he plans to sculpt you himself. But then Jada asks him something and his attention is taken away for a short moment. Diego knows how to flirt. He'll fit right in with the rest of us. Everyone spends the next few minutes talking and getting to know one another. Priya and Diego constantly have their eye on you and Candace is definitely into Alex. There are so many emotions running through your head 
and you're a little anxious about what's to come. So, lots of beautiful people on this beautiful beach. What's the angle? For real, how are you all still standing? I kind of expected you to like, you know, party and bang all the time. Maybe they already got tired of each other. Well, we can definitely help with that, if you know what I mean. The newcomers laugh, but everyone else shares an amused look. Oh wow, they don't realise what show this is. Um, you know, I think you need to meet our host. Everyone settles in at the cabana. Carter whistles as he looks around. Ooh, I've been to a lot of places, but I have to say this whole setup is amazing. It must be a blast to live here. Seriously, this is paradise. I'm stoked I got picked for this show. Same here. Definitely ready to get my party on. Priya laughs and gives everyone a once over. I'm ready to do much more than that. Well, they're gonna be in for a rude awakening. Just wait until they find out what show this really is. Should I say anything? I'm gonna tease them. Oh yeah, we're doing a lot more than partying. In fact, we all tied each other up the other day. Bondage is so much fun, isn't it? Priya and Diego's eyes flash with interest. Whoa, okay. This show must be a lot kinkier than I thought. I like it. Perfect for me. Theo suddenly clears his throat. I think it's time you meet our host, everyone. This is Lana. Theo steps aside and when Priya, Diego and Candice get a look at her, their faces fall. No, this is a joke, right? I took time off work to be clam jammed. Are you winding me up? Clam jammed? No, I can't believe that someone thought I'd be good for a show like this. I can't be celibate. I just can't. The look of pure angst on her face makes you believe it. Carter steps forward. Can someone please fill me in? What show is this? You mean you don't recognise Lana? Anna. Carter smiles politely. I don't watch much TV. I'm always on the road. Totally fair. I didn't recognise her either. Jada smiles at him and then hurries to explain. You're on too hot to handle. We get to hang out in paradise and mingle with other singles, but there's no funny business allowed. Everything sexual is against the rules, even self-gratification. Carter looks shocked. And what happens if you break these rules? There's a $200,000 pot and every time someone breaks a rule, we lose money. And let's just say we've already lost some. Some? Well, the prize fund is currently at $167,000. Carter whistles as Priya slumps in her seat. It's torture is what it is. For real? You think I can swim home? What should I say to the newcomers? It's not so bad. It's actually not so bad. I have a lot of five agreeable choices right there. Once you get used to it, I mean. Priya sighs, but there's a look of determination in her eyes. Well, I'm not ruining my time off over some silly rules. I'm here to have fun and nothing is going to stop me. Candice glances at Alex. Same here, screw the rules. I'm not gonna let some fancy cone hold me back. You look at Diego to see what he thinks. But whatever he's thinking, he's keeping it to himself. Lana suddenly lights up from the table. Candace, Carter, Diego and Priya. Welcome to paradise. Your arrival marks an opportunity for new connections. And I'm certain you are eager to explore them all. No worries, Lana. We're all happy they're here. And we'll definitely celebrate it in style tonight at the beach. Everyone brightens a little. Nice, a party. Finally, someone is speaking my language. Hmm, a party, huh? This should be interesting. Time to do a makeover. There are some absolutely gorgeous hairstyles in this game. I do want to change it up. It's a shame none of them are long. We're gonna have to go for this like Ariana Grande look, I think. And as for party clothes, we've got three outfits to choose from. We've got this, which is definitely interesting. It's like glam bikini. And we've got this. I'm kind of tempted to go for this because it's like the most dressy. I personally love this, but the snowflakes are a bit out of season. Okay, so this is what I've gone for. I have given her a piercing, but I'm just pretending they're like little gems, you know, like you use for embellishments when you go out places. You know what I mean, I hope. Anyway, so I've done that and then her dress, we have gone for the lovely black number, but also we've gone for a choker and a little bracelet. So I'm happy with this. Let's save the look and head out. You're getting ready for the party, but you feel eyes on your back. When you turn, Priya is right behind you. Priya? Sorry, pet, didn't mean to scare you. I was just admiring your outfit. You look lush, Amber. Diego pipes in from over her shoulder. Amber would look good in anything. I could sense that from the moment I saw her. In fact, she is an artist's dream. How should I respond? Flirt with Diego a little bit. You smile at Priya, but then turn to Diego. Thank you. So you're handsome and sweet, huh? He grins widely. I'm a lot more things than that. You'll see. Definitely can't wait. As the two of you share flirty glances, 
Priya clears her throat. Well, we better go and finally party. These hips need an excuse to shake. She starts dancing seductively, pulling Diego in to join her. The sight of them both is amusing and alluring at the same time. And you laugh to hide your thirsty thoughts. Yeah, we better go. After one last glance at the mirror, you head down to the beach. The party is in full swing by the time you arrive. Everyone looks like they're having fun, including the newcomers. You go up and grab a drink and then join in the festivities. A few minutes later, Jada stands on a chair to get everyone's attention. I've got an idea, everyone. I say we play a game so we can all get to know each other better. Her eyes, of course, are on Carter's. That sounds like fun. How about truth or drink? What do we have to drink? Oh, whatever you want is fine. Brilliant. Everyone agrees to that and gets into a circle. Alex sends you a smile. You smile back just as one of the newbies giggles in the crowd. I'd like to start if you guys don't mind. Her eyes are on Alex's. Of course her question is for Alex. Making her little crush a bit too obvious. I may have to put her in her place. Alex, where is one place that you'd love to have sex? Me? Uh, the beach, maybe? Alex glances at you, but interest flashes in Candace's eyes. Same here. Great minds think alike, I guess. Candace is totally flirting with my bow. What do I do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna make my claim. I need to put her in her place. The beach sounds perfect, Alex. You, me, the starry sky above us. A night out there might even be sexier than that suite we shared. Then again, anywhere would be hot with you. Just take a big enough blanket so we don't get sand on everything. You put emphasis on the last word, and Alex looks at you as if they're imagining making love to you right this moment. When you peek at Candice, she's definitely annoyed. Good. The game continues, but you're barely paying attention. Too busy pondering over Candace's intentions. That is, until you hear your name. My turn to go next. I've got a question for Amber. Her eyes swing to you and the heated look in her gaze makes you feel uneasy. She's just as obvious as Candace. I wonder if that's a good or a bad thing. Amber, tell us how often you touch yourself. You know, when you're outside of Lana's sexless bubble. Everyone smirks and leans in and you can feel your neck heating up. What should I tell Priya? I'm taking her drink. She doesn't get to know anything. I'm not telling anyone that. I think I'll take a drink. Priya smacks you when you take a sip as if she knows what you meant to say. A few more questions get asked and then it's your turn to ask someone something. Who's left? Looks like everyone's answered a question except Diego. Okay, Diego. He brightens and smiles at you. Yes, so whatever you ask, gorgeous. Everyone laughs except Alex, that is. Very funny. My question is, what are your real thoughts about being on this show? It was hard to tell earlier. Diego thinks for a moment. The circumstances aren't ideal, but I'm happy to be here. His gaze fixates on yours. I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone better. A lot better. It's obvious who he means. Your heart is racing at the intensity in his gaze, so you look away. Okay, okay, I have another question for Carter again. Surprise, surprise. Jada playfully rolls her eyes at Dakota before she turns to Carter. Tell us something that really turns you on. Carter grins at her then licks his bottom lip. When a person is obvious about who or what they want. I'm not into playing games. I prefer to be direct. I'm not either. They stare into each other's eyes and you can't help but grin. There's a love connection there, definitely. I bet it's only a matter of time till they break a rule. The game breaks up a little while later, but everyone is laughing and having fun. After you grab a drink, you search for Alex. But after a few minutes, you realize Alex is gone. Where could they have gone? The next morning, everyone's gathered in the living room. The party went on until late into the night and everyone's tired including you. You sink onto the couch and sip a bottle of water. Alex comes to join you, but it's a little awkward. Although you slept together in the same bed last night, you never got the opportunity to ask where Alex disappeared to. Alex just showed up under my covers in the middle of the night. What is this weird tension between us? Before you can say anything, Jada leans in from your other side. Hey Amber, did you have a good night? It was okay. Kind of intense. I'll say. Priya and Diego fancy the pants off you. I know, they're so obvious. You turn and smile at her. Not as obvious as Carter, though. Jada grins. Oh, he's so hot. I can't wait to get my hands on him. When you give her the look, she laughs. Hypothetically, Priya stretches and yawns, getting everyone's attention. So why are we all gathered here and not hanging on the beach? It's too nice to be cooped up inside. Just as the words leave her mouth, Lana lights up. 
Good morning, beautiful singles. I hope you enjoyed the party last night, especially the four newcomers. I had a blast. So did I. Same, surprisingly. I had a very, very good time. You stare at her with narrowed eyes. What the hell is that supposed to mean? And why are her eyes on Alex? I'd like to give our new guests an opportunity to form deeper connections. So I'm giving you all a chance to go on a date with the person of your choosing. You shift uncomfortably. I have a bad feeling feeling about this. You share a look with Alex. If the look on their face is any indication, they're feeling the same way. Priya. Yes, Lana? Who would you like to take on a date? Priya smiles as she scans the crowd and then her eyes land on you. Definitely Amber. There's just something there, isn't there? And I think a date would be a fantastic place to explore it. You smile, flattered, and open your mouth to reply, but then Diego laughs. I don't think this is going to work out. She glares at him. What? And why not? Because his eyes lock on yours as he says the next part. I would also like to take Amber on a date. Oh, wow. Looks like I'm in for a world of trouble. I don't even know what to say. Apart from if you haven't already given this video a like and you've not subscribed, then please do that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, episode 22 recap. I acted friendly with Priya like 40% of people, but 40% of people flirted with her. And we flirted with Diego like 50% of people. And we showed Candace who's the boss. Like 40%, but 50% encouraged Candace to move on from the topic. Interesting. Let me know what you thought of this part down in the comments below. It's always lovely to hear from you. I really appreciate it. Make sure you do give this video a like. It really helps me out and any comments help me out as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.